Hello, in this unit, we are going to talk about arithmetic operators. To begin, there are five arithmetic operators, in C the plus sign is used for addition. The minus is used for subtraction. The star is used for multiplication. The slash is used for division. The modulus sign is used for remainder after division. Relational and logical operators. There are four relational operators in C. They are the first sign is the sign for less than. The second sign is the sign for less than or equal to. The third sign is the sign for greater than. The fourth sign is the sign for greater than or equal to. Closely associated with the relational operators are the following two equality operators. The first sign is used to represent equal to. The second sign is used to represent not equal to. In addition to the relational and equality operators, C contains two logical operators, also called logical connectives. The first sign is used as AND, and the second sign is used as OR. Conditional operator Simple conditional operations can be carried out with a conditional operator. Question mark. An expression that makes use of the conditional operator is called a conditional expression. Such an expression can be written in place of the more traditional if-else statement which will be discussed later. A conditional expression is written in the form expression 1, question mark, expression 2, expression 3. When evaluating a conditional expression, expression 1 is evaluated first. If expression 1 is true, that is, if its value is non-zero, then expression 2 is evaluated and this becomes the value of the conditional expression. However, if expression 1 is false, that is, if its value is 0, then expression 3 is evaluated and this becomes the value of the conditional expression. Note that only one of the embedded expressions, either expression 2 or expression 3, is evaluated when determining the value of a conditional expression. Example on conditional operator. In the conditional expression shown below, assume that i is an integer variable. i less than 0, 0, 100. The expression i less than 0 is evaluated first. If it is true, that is, if the value of i is less than 0, the entire conditional expression takes on the value 0. Otherwise, if the value of i is not less than 0, the entire conditional expression takes on the value 100. Assignment operator. There are several different assignment operators in C. All of them are used to form assignment expressions which assign the value of an expression to an identifier. The most commonly used assignment operator is equals. Assignment expressions that make use of this operator are written in the form identifier equals expression, where identifier generally represents a variable and expression represents a constant, a variable or a more complex expression. Example on assignment operator. Here are some typical assignment expressions that make use of the equals operator. U equals 3, x equals y, delta equals 0 0.001, sum equals a plus b, area equals length multiply by width. Discussions on assignment operator. The first assignment expression causes the integer value 3 to be assigned to the variable 
and the second assignment causes the value of y to be assigned to x. In the third assignment, the floating point value 0.001 is assigned to delta. The last two assignments each result in the value of an arithmetic expression being assigned to a variable, that is, the value of a plus b is assigned to sum, and the value of length multiplied by width is assigned to area. Remember that the assignment operator equals and the equality operator equals are distinctly different. The assignment operator is used to assign a value to an identifier, whereas the equality operator is used to determine if two expressions have the same value. These operators cannot be used in place of one another. Beginning programmers often incorrectly use the assignment operator when they want to test for equality. This results in a logical error that is usually difficult to detect. Assignment expressions are often referred to as assignment statements since they are usually written as complete statements. However, assignment expressions can also be written as expressions that are included within other statements. If the two operands in an assignment expression are of different data types, then the value of the expression on the right, that is, the right-hand operand, will automatically be converted to the type of the identifier on the left. The entire assignment expression will then be of this same data type. Below is a program written in C to add two integers. A possible output to the program can be enter first integer 45, enter second integer 72, sum is 117, 